Golfers, this one simple concept changed my life as a driver of the golf ball. This one's going to change yours too. It may give you 20 to 40, even possibly more yards off the tee. So let's get after it. I got this exercise from the great Greg Norman, one of the finest drivers of the golf ball in the history of this wonderful game. He drove it with those little tiny baby wooden club heads, steel shaft, and a horrible golf ball. Straight. He said that he would use this exercise. You know how tee boxes sometimes are elevated and then flattened, de-elevated on the other side? Well, he would get on this above the feet lie. He knew that he would from time to time get a little steep in the downswing and he'd lose his way with the driver a little bit. So he would get on these uphill lies in the middle of rounds of golf to keep him from getting steep. And also Davis Love III, another great driver of the golf ball. Those two guys hit it long and straight with very bad equipment. Well, they've got this, what I now call the hill drill. They would swing down here and kind of up the hill. And I highly recommend that you do a lot of this to help you get more level, if you would. So this concept I wrote in a book many moons ago called the level drill. This is magic now. So now I've got my club resting on the table. I'm gonna wipe all the dishes off the table on a backswing. I'm gonna come around and keep the club shaft on the table, letting the club face turn onto the table and finish. Now I'm teaching proper arm rotation and proper pitch of the club shaft. Yay, isn't that good? There's a level drill. Now many moons ago also, we figured out that we need to hit up on the golf ball to make it go farther. Thank you, track man. But when I was a kid, the pro of our golf club, his name was Barry Vaverneck. I don't know if he's still around anymore. I haven't been home in a long time. Barry would have me watch his golf swing when I was a brand new golfer. He goes, I don't know what it is about you, kid, but you got great eyes. So anyway, I'd be watching him. And when he wanted to absolutely full send a driver, he would tape a golf pencil to a golf tee and tee this sucker way up. He knew it way back before there was anything like a launch monitor. He knew that back then. So I'm giving him all the credit. Well, once we learned that upward is more better, or your top spin forehand for hitting the golf ball real far, we altered the level drill. Now it is level and up. Now you can see as I go up, more top spin, you can see a lot of stuff going on in my legs. Buttons up, legs up, belt buckle high. Santa belly gets you one of these big bellies because once you get it moving, you can't hardly stop it. And Jack Nicholas said, every time I lost a pound, I lost a yard. So I have now a little helpers here. I have a, don't use this. This is not the right ball. At work, I have a yoga ball. Uh, one of those, I, I can't remember, 30 centimeters maybe, small, that we use for this. I have a ball that is teed up, oh, about, I don't know, six feet. And I have a giant stick. So first, we would want to perform some level drills with this giant stick. Go give me a piece of PVC and put some, actually a golf, excuse me, tennis grip wrap tape is wonderful on PVC. It doesn't have to be heavy. It has to be long, so that if you get steep, you stick it in the ground. So we're up, up, level drill, up. Yes, it's like exercise. Oh my gosh, it's a sport. Level drill and up. Now there's a second part of this. Visualize our trusty path of righteousness going up the back of the ball from low to high. Maybe even from inside out and low to high. Next thing, get rid of your awesome new driver and get you an old one. Now we have our golf ball 
that's giant. Something real soft. This is a four pound, no it isn't, it's a six pound soft medicine ball. No bueno. I just want you to come low to high, up over. Low to high, up over. So with the spongy ball I have at work, the yoga ball, no weight, we actually do hit it on the way up. We're getting the feeling. Oh baby, we're getting the feeling now. And now finally, what we're gonna do is try to launch this ball up off this tee. Now, we do know, I'm gonna get this ball out of the way for you. We know that this golf ball should only be teed about a full ball above the club head at a dress. We know that you will come back and kill me if you put racing stripes on top of your poor driver. Sorry, driver. You will also say to me, I can't tee the ball that high. Every time I do that, I pop it up. This is why I want an old driver. It's actually every time you don't swing up enough, you pop it up. Every time your club is traveling downward, it's going right under the golf ball, like a slice forehand or slice backhand in tennis. We want to come up. Now, I want the ball teed up quite high, old driver, to incentivize you to bottom out back here and come up into the golf ball. Okay, so here's what we might do. Level drill. Level and up. Okay. Level and up. Now we're going to bring it down a notch. Now we're getting close to ball height. Okay, level feel and up. Okay. Level feel about a foot above and up. Okay, here we go. Ball's wicked far forward. It's way up on my front foot. You'll see long drivers hitting the ball. <laughs> Terribly high T. Let's do it, John, again. <laughs> Folks, I just hit that golf ball without even moving the T. Well, I didn't hit it super solid. I'm not sure that our catching the golf ball was 97 miles an hour, which is great. That was my first driver's swing of the day. But the fact is, I'm getting the feel of swinging up. Then I can go into a normal T height, which again, I would like to be a little higher than what you, what you might be used to. A little higher, keep working it. When you're going, you can feel yourself push up against the ground using the vertical force. You can do this. If I can do it, you can. I have mishit several balls. It's okay to miss, but learn something. Realize this. If you hit up on it, we might get you 20, 30, even 40 yards longer off the tee. Wouldn't that be worth a few uh, racing stripes on your old driver? A few embarrassing misses? I think it would. Get after it, folks.